Hi guys, it's Katie. Thanks for stopping in today. I am sharing a fun sunshine shaker card today using this stamp set from Jelly Bean Soup. I picked this up because I thought that this would make an awesome shaker card and I got some fun little yellow sequins, which I will link everything on my blog post if you just click the link in the bottom of this video. I am starting out with some watercolor paper and my new to me watercolors. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name because I just can't get it. I am mixing some blue and some white because I wanted it to be a little bit lighter color. I'm making this kind of the sky background. So I wanted there to be a little bit lighter than the blue that's in the set. So I'm just kind of laying it on there. I did wet down the paper a little bit beforehand and then I just kind of lay in the water on there and I am going to um, kind of swoosh it around and then let it sit and dry for a while while I finish the rest of the card parts. So there, I just kind of got it how I wanted it, and I just, I love the look that it creates. So I'm stamping this sun shine with some canary ink from close to my heart, and as I'm stamping away here, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot the circle. So I went ahead and I just die cut the circle with my nest abilities, and I am stamping this twice because it's so big and bold it's not getting a crisp image the first time around so there you can see that it did and then I went ahead and cut it out and I did that by hand and I cut a coordinating piece of acetate and I just adhered that to the sunshine with my um, snail adhesive and then I'm using some foam tape as kind of the layer between and this is a fun trick that I found I'm going to um, trim the foam tape in half because I don't need the whole thickness but I've also found that if you tear the backing off you can kind of manipulate this foam tape a little bit so you can um, move it around and make it kind of circle I know somewhere in my stash I have some like pre-made circle foam things for this purpose and I could not find them. So I remembered this trick and I just um, was able to make it work. So thankfully I cut these the right size. You just need to make sure that <clears throat> you um, line them up good and so that you don't have any holes and your sequins can't fall out. So then after my blue watercolored piece had dried, I am stamping the sentiment that's from this sentiment, or from the set, sending bright and sunny wishes. And then I'm adding my little sequins. This is a little bit of sequins that I got from Simon Says Stamp. So there's a little bit more than just sequins in there, which I think is really kind of cool. And then I just stuck the sun on there and shake it around a little bit. I have this fun, um, yellow cardstock. This is also Simon Says Stamp cardstock. And I cut it in half the long way and then I scored it at five and a half so it makes an A2 size card. And then I'm just adding some snail adhesive and um, putting it on the front. So this can be a fun little card that can be sent off. It's not too thick and it'll work just perfect. So there you go. I appreciate you guys watching today. I thank you for stopping by and I hope that you click like and click subscribe and you come back for more videos. I will see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.